After what felt like a really long 12-week training plan, the race is finally here. <laughs> It's been a long 12 weeks. Um, I had to keep reminding myself that I changed all the numbers on that 5k training plan to make it more challenging and it definitely felt more challenging. Um, but I feel so ready for this 5k tomorrow to beat my princess virtual 5k time. Um, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be warmer. It's going to be humid. We just had rain come through today. So it will be humid tomorrow, but I've practiced in humid, so I feel ready. Wanted to share uh, my goals. I'm following uh, what I've heard on podcasts and videos to have a set of goals, A, B, and C. My A goal is to place in my age group. From what I've seen of races, at least locally around here, they're small races around here. If I can stick to a sub 30, I might be able to place. So that's my, that's my top goal. If I don't make it, it's okay. Uh, to place in my age group. My B goal is to beat my princess virtual time of 28.33 and my C goal is just to continue with the, the sub 30 which is totally attainable as long as I don't get in my head and get too nervous which I, something I've been working on is trying not to get too nervous and have that affect how I do the race. So one of my favorite traditions that I've started um, since I've started running is watching The Greatest Showman most of the songs from this movie are on my race playlist um, and it just it gets me so fired up so i'm gonna get to watching this and i will see you at the race tomorrow all right so we're here it is uh almost perfect morning to run. Overcast, a little cool. I have a feeling when I start running, I'm gonna be able to tell how humid it is. Um, but I feel ready, so I'm just, I wanna get started. We still have half an hour, so I'm gonna go jog around a little bit. speaker won't stop talking but I did not get a new PR um, I think the humidity got me today it was, it was quite humid out here and I uh, kind of started feeling a little bit nauseous um, between miles two and three and when I got close to the close to the finish and I looked at my watch and I was getting really close to that 28 33 I tried to sprint and was afraid I was gonna lose my breakfast so I just had to keep a steady pace and but I did get another sub 30 I think the guy said it came across at 29 even so um, I'm happy with that. That's goal C. So we'll see if I actually place. Um, there's not a whole lot of people here, but I did feel like everyone was passing me in the meeting. So we'll see. But it's almost time for awards. He was a, he was a good cheerleader. Yes, he was. Oh goodness. We're back home from the race this morning, and I was going to. Uh, film this closer outside, but it's actually not really warmed up that much. Um, it was not, it was about 68 or 69 when I looked at the thermostat and a little windy, so I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay inside. So there's that, third place, and I did, um, I, they were automatically uploading the results, so I was able to go back and look to see if I could technically count that as my A goal of placing in my age group, meaning for third that there had to be at least one person behind me, and there was. Um, and the difference between second and third, I got third, we both came in at 29 flat, but I was a tenth of a second behind her. So I, I wish I hadn't felt so bad there in the middle, um, and I could have pushed it a little bit more and maybe gotten that second place, but you know, 
not every race is gonna go the way you want it to go. But I'm still pleased that I'm, I'm getting more consistent with the sub 30, and that's a big deal for someone who hated running and, you know, hated running growing up. And I'm coming up on my four year anniversary of running, so anyway. I'm actually doing this in our sunroom, which previous to uh, now was the kids, you know, arts and crafts kind of room. Um, and they're older, they're both getting ready to graduate in a couple years, so I'm redoing it for uh, my sewing projects and Disney. So, and my, um, my stepson got me this sign for uh, my birthday, and I was hoping to update it with a new PR, but it didn't happen today, but we'll see what I can, what I can put on here um, in the future. A thought that I had yesterday as I was um, doing my ritual of watching uh, Greatest Showman, as you saw earlier, I realized that the last time I ran a live race was at that same the same place. It was the 10K. It was going to be my proof of time for Princess. That at that last race, just a few days later, is when Ren Disney came out with the the not fun announcement that all of that was going virtual. Um, so maybe since I just did the live race, same company, same course. Maybe it's a sign that we're going to be hearing something. Either way, I know people are getting really impatient, and I am one of them. So, please run Disney, could you let us know? That'd be great. <laughs> Coming up in the next month, I have so many fun ideas for videos and I'm so looking forward to sharing them. I'm not gonna give anything away, but definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see the fun adventures that my family and I are gonna be going on in the next month or so. Always, always remember that you are his masterpiece and I hope you have a fantastic Memorial Day weekend. I'll see you next time. Thank you.